600 milligrams twice a day lowers your fasting blood sugar. I'm not saying that as a catchy title. I am saying it because that is the exact dose used in human randomized controlled trials to lower fasting blood sugar and A1C levels. In some studies, as effectively as metformin, which is a pharmaceutical medication for diabetes. Today, I'm gonna show you how that works, who it helps the most, and exactly how to take berberin so you don't waste your money or wreck your stomach. And I promise you this, by the end of this video, you will know more about berberin than 99% of people selling it online. Before we get nerdy, picture this. You walk into your doctor's office in three months from now. Last time, your fasting blood sugar was well above 100, maybe even 200 or higher. But this time, it's in the 90s. Your A1C dropped too, to below 5.6, non-diabetic. Same body, same genetics, same life. What changed? Well, the 3,048 subjects in this meta-analysis will prove to you that the only change to their routines was the addition of berberin. The turning point was simple, 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams of berberin per day. Lower dosages brought minimal results. Higher dosages brought side effects and even worse results. So the sweet spot seems to be 600 milligrams twice per day. 600 milligrams of berberin in the morning and 600 milligrams of berberin in the evening, ideally with food, that's it. However, there's a few lifestyle tweaks you can do to make it work even better. And I'll share those with you later, plus some free guides for you to download. Let's go ahead and unpack why berberin works in case you want to take it, and more importantly, how to make it work for you. Berberine is a natural compound found in plants like barberry or golden seal. It's been used in traditional medicine for centuries. But modern research took off when researchers found something wild. In multiple clinical trials, subjects taking between 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams of berberine per day saw improvements in their blood sugar that were basically identical as metformin. I am talking about reductions in A1C, fasting blood sugar, post-meal blood sugar levels, and even insulin levels. And here's the part that surprised lots of researchers. When it came to cholesterol and triglycerides, berberine actually did better than metformin. By week 13, the group taking berberine had significantly lower triglyceride and total cholesterol levels. And yes, the results were strong enough to be statistically legit. So when I talk about berberine helping you from multiple angles, blood sugar, insulin, and lipid health, that's exactly what I mean. It's not hype, the data backs this up. But here's the part that nobody explains well. Berberine doesn't just lower your blood sugar it changes how your cells use energy. Think of it like this. Inside of almost every cell in your body, you have a little switch called AMPK. I want you to think of AMPK as your metabolic CEO. When berberin activates AMPK, this CEO starts shouting orders to your muscles. Hey, become more insulin sensitive and pull more blood sugar out of the bloodstream. To your liver, hey, stop dumping glucose into the bloodstream. This person is asleep. We're not trying to flood the system. To your fat cells, quit hoarding energy. Start burning it. That's why berberine has a multi-benefit reputation. Lower fasting glucose, lower A1C, improved cholesterol and triglycerides, and modest weight loss. All from nudging that master switch. So why 600 milligrams twice per day? Let's talk about dosage because that's where a lot of people get it wrong. Most of the blood sugar focused trials used between 1000 to 1500 milligrams of berberin per day, split into two to three doses. In practice, the sweet spot that I see repeating again and again, and what matches a lot of the research 
is the following. 600 milligrams with breakfast and 600 milligrams with dinner. That gets you 1200 milligrams per day, right in the middle of the clinically effective range. That's where you get the best benefits and little to no side effects. So why should you take it in the morning and in the evening? Well, berberine has a relatively short half-life. If you take it all at once, you get a brief elevation of active compound in your body, more chance of stomach upset, and then it fades. However, splitting it into two doses of 600 milligrams each keeps more stable levels of active compound in your body throughout the day and night. This way, it can keep your liver in check overnight, your muscles more insulin sensitive after meals, and all of your cells using sugar more effectively throughout the day. Now, let's zoom in on your fasting blood sugar numbers, because that's where most people get really frustrated. You might be skipping dinner, cutting carbs, and still waking up with fasting blood sugar in the 120s, 130s, 140s, even 150s. Here's what's happening. At night, your liver is like a little sugar factory. Around the early morning hours between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., stress hormones tell your liver, hey, dump some glucose into the bloodstream to help this person wake up. In a healthy, insulin-sensitive body, that sugar release is modest and controlled. But when you're insulin-resistant, your liver is deaf to the signals of insulin. That stop signal never comes through. So it just keeps pumping sugar into the bloodstream nonstop. That's called gluconeogenesis. And you wake up with high fasting blood sugar, even if you didn't eat. So berberine helps in two big ways. Number one, it tells your liver to chill out. It downregulates the overproduction of glucose in your liver, similar to how metformin works. And two, it makes your muscles hungrier for glucose. By improving insulin sensitivity and increasing GLUT4 transporters, your muscles vacuum more sugar out of the bloodstream and into the muscle cell. So over the next few weeks, you will experience fasting blood sugar numbers that start coming down, that morning dawn phenomenon gets less intense, and your overall average blood sugar levels, your A1C, also starts coming down. Okay, now let's talk about protocol tactics. During week one of taking it, most people do best with the following. 600 milligrams once per day with your largest meal of the day, usually dinner or lunch. And week two and beyond, 600 milligrams with breakfast and 600 milligrams with dinner. Always with food. That's huge for minimizing gastrointestinal distress. I usually take one capsule right after my first bite of food, usually mid-morning and at dinner time, 7 p.m. Before you go on and try berberin, I want to bust a few myths. This way you don't expect the wrong thing. Myth number one, berberine melts fat overnight. No, the reality is that most trials show modest weight loss. Think three to five pounds over three to four months. Helpful? Yes. A Zempic in a bottle? No. Myth number two, it cures diabetes. No. No supplement cures diabetes. Berberine is a tool that improves insulin sensitivity and metabolic health, especially when paired with proper diet and exercise. Myth number three, all berberine is the same. Nope, here's what you want. Berberine HCL, also known as berberine hydrochloride, 500 to 600 milligrams per capsule, preferably 600 milligrams, third-party tested, and manufactured in an FDA registered facility. This means that they follow strict FDA regulations for safety, cleanliness, and quality. So you know that every bottle is made the right way. The one that I recommend is Jade Supplements Pure Berberine. Full disclosure, we made this brand so people could get the correct amount of active compounds in every capsule perfectly dosed at 600 milligrams per capsule. So you take one in the morning and one in the evening. Third party tested, made in an FDA registered facility in the USA, and it's pharmaceutical grade. I'll put the link below this video if you're interested. Now, who should not 
take berberine. First of all, if you are on diabetes medications like metformin or insulin, you should always work with your physician because your meds might need adjustment as your insulin sensitivity improves. Now, berberine should be avoided in pregnancy or breastfeeding, severe liver or kidney disease, certain heart medications or immunosuppressants. Bottom line, always clear it with your physician before getting started. Now, here are the three things that make 600 milligrams twice a day actually work. This is where people go from, I didn't notice much, to my life is completely different, this is the best thing ever. Number one, consistency. This is non-negotiable. Berberine is not a take it when you remember supplement. Set a daily reminder on your phone twice a day. Keep the bottle where you can see it during breakfast and dinner time. Think at least six to 12 weeks of daily use before you judge results. That's the time frame that most studies use. And it's the time frame where our customers from Jade Supplements Pure Berberine have seen real shifts in their A1C and fasting blood sugar levels. Like Barbara, who sent us this testimonial. Wow, I'm 62 and I have tried so many different things over the years to get my blood sugar under control. I changed my diet, fasted, cut out foods, but my fasting numbers always stayed too high. After starting this berberine, my fasting blood sugar is finally in the low 90s and holding steady after seven and a half weeks on it. I honestly wasn't sure if anything would work for me at this point, but this has made a difference. I am very thankful for all the teachings and support that came with the supplements too. It feels good to finally see real progress. Amazing, Barbara. Number two, dose. Don't undershoot. Remember, 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams is where the magic happens. I don't care if you get our brand or not. Keep it simple. 600 milligrams with breakfast and 600 milligrams with dinner. Easy to remember, clinically on point, and you're not swallowing eight underdosed capsules every single day. Number three, make insulin's job easier. Here's the truth. If your diet is working against you, Berberine has to work twice as hard. You will get dramatically better results if you do the following. Cut back on saturated fats. I'm talking about butter, cheese, fatty cuts of meat, heavy cream, and so on. These type of saturated fats clog up your cells and drive insulin resistance. Increase your fiber intake. Beans, lentils, vegetables, fruits. Fiber improves gut health, slows carb absorption, and it boosts insulin sensitivity. Move daily, even a 10 to 15 minute walk after your largest meal of the day is going to do wonders. If you're thinking, okay, Jose, what do I do now? Here's a simple action plan. Number one, talk to your doctor. Bring your medication list. Say that you're planning on taking 600 milligrams of berberine twice a day for insulin resistance and blood sugar improvement and ask if there are any interactions for you. Number two, dial in the routine. Week one, 600 milligrams of berberine with your largest meal. Week two and beyond, 600 milligrams of berberine with your breakfast and dinner. Number three, supported with two lifestyle moves. Add one high fiber food to every meal, like beans, lentils, veggies, you choose. Or comment guide below, and I'll send you a free meal plan to improve insulin sensitivity. And take 10 to 15 minute walks after your meals, or at least do it after your largest meal of the day. Give that combo 12 weeks, and then look at your fasting blood sugar, your A1C, your energy, cravings, and waistline. If this helped you understand why 600 milligrams twice per day actually works, please tap the like button so more people with high blood sugar problems can see this. And if you're looking for a high quality berberine that actually hits the 600 milligram dose of active compounds per capsule, and it's third party tested, made in the USA in an FDA registered facility, this is the one that I take, pure berberine from Jade Supplements. I'll leave the link below this video. Remember, berberine is powerful, but you are more powerful. Use it as a tool, stay consistent, and support it with the correct lifestyle changes and your fasting blood sugar 
and A1C levels can be transformed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.